Colorado High School Activities Association football is on 1010KSIR and KSIR.com. Tonight from Arvada, the Bead Diggers take on the Faith Christian Eagles as the Bead Diggers kick off to begin the game, and the ball takes one hop and into the end zone. A solid kick as the Bead Diggers are coached by Reed Call, Ralph Nance, the head coach of the Eagles. The assistants for the Bead Diggers, Aaron Quinlan, Travis LeFever, Rick Call, Ken Call, Dusty Quick, Brady Walter, and Bob Bear. Opening kickoff was brought to you by Buildings by Design, the experience to complete your project from start to finish. Get the quality you deserve in your building by starting your build project right. Start with Buildings by Design. First and ten for the Eagles at their own 20-yard line. Now let's see how much they do throw in this game because it's Hasn't been a lot. Under center with a backs and an eye. Isaiah Cole, the quarterback, handoff up the middle to about the 24-yard line. Jaron Peterson makes the tackle. And the ball carrier there was David Nagy, a sophomore. 5'9", 150. Very young team. They have only nine seniors and nine juniors. We're going to see a... And look at how heavy that roster is. Yeah, they got a bunch of kids. I'll tell you what, just watch them in pregame, these young kids they have. You know, they've got some pretty good athleticism. Not a lot of size, but very athletic. Second down and six out of the shotgun is Kroll awaiting the snap. Only a freshman has the football. Hands off left side. Hit in the backfield and back to the line of scrimmage. And that might have been Elijah Durrett. Man, he was drilled by about four beat diggers. Riggs Tannen on the play. With a couple of more in pursuit. And Jaron Peterson already in on a second tackle. It'll be third down and five. They'll give him half a yard. Yeah, Dunker was the one that did a great job to begin with, shooting through there and trying to make the tackle behind that line of scrimmage. That time, that was that double wing look where they tried to really overpower one side with a lot of blockers. Third and five for Faith Christian at their own 25-yard line. Two receivers out to the right, one to the left, and a shotgun as the freshman Kroll. Five yards behind center, three-step drop, throws to his left, the pass is incomplete. Well wide of the target, which was... Kevin Turner, who is one of the few seniors on this team, and Faith Christian has to punt. And keep in mind, this team lost to Rez in overtime, lost to Ken Denver 27 to 12 in a competitive game, and last week to Manitou 21 to 14. So certainly not a uh, a bad 0 3 team. And let's see who, who's punting. That looks like I don't know we have him on the roster, but anyway, Jaron Peterson awaits it, takes it, or check that. That is going to be. At the 34-yard line, trying to spin out of a tackle. Is, is that Cade Yurick himself, or is that yeah. Mount? Yeah, that's Yurick. Oh, unless Mount is wearing uh, <laughs> number six. Nope. Down at the 33, so no return there after the tackle was made. Okay, that caught us by surprise, Dave. Yeah, number six was back there for the beat diggers. First and ten for Brush. The football resting at the 32-yard line. All right, let's check out the quarterbacking. We might have a jersey switches here, Dave. I think that was Mount, and now Yurik is the quarterback under center, wearing a 15. There's a pitch left to Peterson, a big seam across the left side. And he gets to about the 36-yard line before he's tackled along the far sideline. A gain of four, second down, and six to go. B. Digger starting lineup tonight is brought to you by Equitable Savings and Loan. Proud to be Northeast Colorado's locally on a hometown savings and loan. Locations in Fort Morgan, Sterling, and Brush available 24-7 for your banking needs. You know that Yurik, Peterson, Colin Cole not in the lineup due to injury. Lining up to the right is Ryan Dunkers, a receiver. Second down and six for the 36. Handoff right up the gut and nothing. And let's see if that was Peterson again. And it was stacked up. Or check that. That was Nick Wellen, the freshman. Gain of about one. Faith Christian's lining up in a 5-3. He had one of their tackles was eagled down on the wide side of the field. You got to believe they were trying to shut that trap down or maybe keep a guard from pulling by shooting the gap. Might have been Anthony Canella in there to make the tackle. Third down and five for the 37. Trips to the right. Yurik in a shotgun. Five yards behind center. Five-step drop. Look at the throw. Pressure throws underneath the pass. is incomplete. A hard screen to Jaron Peterson at the 35 went off his hands, but I don't think he would have had much, Dave. There was a lot of traffic in there on both sides. Yeah, and you know, one of our offensive linemen was trying to let his guy go, but the Faith Christian player, he's about 260 pounds, and, and uh, he didn't go anywhere. He just stood there, and he bumped our guy right into Jaron when he tried to catch the ball. 
So he played less than three minutes. Neither team has put together a first down. Daniel Abadka to punt. Elijah Durrett back deep to receive. Abadka standing at his own 25. Perfect snap. Light pressure. He gets it off. Beautiful end over end kick. And it's a fair catch. I don't know why Durrett called a fair catch at the 21 with nobody around him. But that turns into a very impressive 42-yard punt for Daniel Abadka. Who Dave has done a really nice job this season. He sure has. He's come up with some with some big punts under some pressure. That time there was a little bit of pressure from their their big number 75. Malden, he's a sophomore, 225 pounds, 5'10", five, five, and then Black, 6'1", 245 pounds. Ball is just shy of the 22-yard line. We'll get to the rest of the beat digger starting lineup. Lots of two-way players, including Abadka and Riggs Tan and many others. Under center is Isaiah Kroll, and there's the give right up the gut for about a yard. And that is going to be the up back who got it for Faith Christian. And that was David Nagy hit by the middle of that digger defensive line right around the football. Was Michael Nichols. It'll be second down and we'll call it nine. A gain of really less than a yard there for David Nagy. Their centers are big guy. He's number 63. He's six foot and 270 pounds, but he's the anchor of that offensive line. Second down and nine for the 23. Backs in an eye. Pitch left to Durrett, swinging it to the outside. He gets around Peterson to the 25. Flag is down, and he's tackled at the 30. That's going to be a hold. That seven-yard gain is going to be coming back. And Ben Brown over there as well. Now we get a better look at the beat diggers. That also includes Andrew Guzman out on the defensive side and Riggs Tan. So this is going to come back. And Nick Wellen starting on both sides tonight. Again with the injury to Colin Cole. They certainly need him out there. Josh Chacon, a junior at 5'8", 175. So that football will be back at around the 11-yard line. It'll be second down and 21 to go for Faith Christian. Colin Cole is just a huge loss, like you were saying oh. in the car ride up here. You know, you lose him, you have to have three or four guys to replace him because he just plays with so much heart. He does so well in each one of his, his jobs. Yeah, Cade Yurick and Trent Mount, two-way players as well. But Yurick wearing number 15 tonight, Mount 6. Pro in a shotgun, hands off to Durrett, runs into a blocker, and then swings out it to the right side. Then is tripped up beautifully, and that was Trent Mount who got him right around the ankles, a gain of about three to the 14 day, but if Trent doesn't get him, Durrett's got more yardage. It'll be third down and 19. Yeah, you know, he's already shown he may not be very big, but he can break tackles. He's one of the seniors on that team, and I'll tell you, I think he's about 150 pounds, and, and uh, he just showed some strength there as he pulled his leg. He sort of limp-legged out. And luckily for us, Mount shot in there and held on to one and tripped him up. Third and 18 for the 14-yard line. No score opening quarter, seven and a half to go from Arvada. Out of a shotgun as Kroll, receiver split to the left and right, two each side. Awaiting the snap, Kroll has the football, back to throw, pressure up the middle, lofts it deep up the left side, and it's going to be caught! Ben Brown was out, jumped there, caught for a first down. Inside the 50 to the 46, Nick Wellen made the tackle, and Jonah Gardner, Jonah Gardner made the catch, and it's a gain of 40. Ben Brown was in position, but I don't think he was close enough to the ball, and... It could have been picked or knocked away, and instead, a 40-yarder there for Faith Christian. Yeah, that was a that was a pick for Ben. You got to believe that's what he was thinking. But like you said, he just misplayed it. Ball went right over his over his head. First and ten for the Eagles at the Beat Digger 46-yard line. That's the first first down of the game, and they picked that up on third and 18. That could provide some valuable momentum for the Eagles. Out of a shotgun is Kroll. One receiver to the left, one to the right. Durrett in motion. He's got the football on the end around. Flag is down. Could be illegal motion. And he's going to be hit in the backfield for a loss of about one or two. Bay Diggers had penetration even from the middle there in the big man, Andrew Guzman. Josh Chacon around the football. Yeah, illegal shift, I believe, was a call, Dave? Yep. Well, the Bay Diggers will take that one. Well, will they, they take it? Because... Yeah, that's a smart move. Yeah. Because, I mean, what do you want first and 15 instead of a second of an 11? Certainly a better move if you're the beat diggers at the 47 yard line of rush. Yeah, the diggers in that 5 3 defense. And I'll tell you what, Dunker does such a good job of timing those, those blitzes. He shoots through that A gap and he gets through there every time. The guard doesn't know he's coming. Just really good timing for him. Durrett is the slot receiver to the left. 
Out of a shotgun once again. Second and 11 for Faith Christian at the brush. 47. Back to throw. To his right. Wide open complete. First down or near the first down marker to the 35-yard line. And that is Jonah Gardner who had that big catch moments ago. They needed 11. They got 12. Yep. Just too much cushion for him. He knew what he needed to get the first down. He ran down there and just got on the other side of the sticks. And it was more of a timing pattern because the ball was thrown right on the money. I'll tell you what, that freshman quarterback got a pretty good arm. Well, they backtracked the football to the 36, so a gain of 11. First and 10 for the beat digger, 36-yard line. In the gun again is Isaiah Kroll. Low snap, handoff, right up the gut, breaking out of a tackle, and breaking out of two tackles, still on his feet inside the 25 to the 24. Let's see if that was Nagy. Well, that's a big gainer. Nope, check that. They're going to say that was uh, say Ryan Muniz. Yep. Yep, Ryan Muniz. And he's a junior. Dave, that's a gain of 13 and a Faith Christian first down. That's their third of this drive. And again, that third and 18 plays the key as the football is resting at the 23-yard line. Under six minutes to go, opening quarter, no score. Faith Christian on their second drive. Kroll out of the gun. Durrett in motion to the left. Low snap. The ball is loose. And falling on it is Kroll. Back at the 33. That's going to amount to a loss of close to 10. Now you got to take advantage. Second down and 20 after that play. And the B-Diggers, quite frankly, have gotten a couple of breaks on this particular drive. Yep, that was a big one right there. But I'll tell you what, our corner's got to step up and play some defense here. Play those receivers a little bit tighter. They know Gardner's the man. Wherever he's at, we better have a hand on the ball. Checking into the game is the big tight end, Ty Ritter. It'll be second down and 20 after the loss of 10. Back to the 33-yard line, still in B-Digger territory. Trips to the left. One receiver out to the right. B-Diggers nearly moved. Perfect snap. Cole back to throw to his right. The pass is caught underneath. It'll be about an 8-9 to nine yard gain. And that time it was Gardner again. And Trent Mount made the tackle. Third and 11 after the catch there by Gardner, who's really hurting Brush. Yeah, Mount got there a lot faster that time, though. And hopefully the digger's going to be able to zero in on him. We're putting some pressure on the quarterback, but Kroll's just got a real quick release, and he knows where right where he's going to throw the ball. And this is four-down territory for Faith Christian, unless they've got a big-time kicker. Third down and 11 to go for Faith Christian at the brush 24-yard line. Out of the gun once again. Kroll, three-step drop to his left. Pass is going to be caught underneath by Gardner. Tries to slip out of a tackle. Short of a first down at the 15. It'll be a gain of nine. Jade Queen made the hit. And Ben Brown, but you know, Dave, they're going to go for it here. And on this drive, Faith Christian, man, they've thrown for well over 70 yards. Yeah, I got them down for 71 yards already. But, you know, that offensive line, they're doing a good job of blocking for them. They have, you know, they're pretty young. They have a soft, two sophomores, one senior, and a junior, and a freshman up there. They're having be, a hard time really getting a curl. It'll be fourth down and two for the brush 15, and Faith Christian obviously is going for it. Under center is Kroll. And he's going to hand it off up the middle, and carrying deep diggers towards the yard marker there is the up back. And let's see, close to a first down. They might have to measure, and that's Moniz with a football. Dave, it's right at the stick. I think Faith Christian is indicating that they have it. Oh, they're not even going to measure. It's going to be a first down, but, boy, that's awfully close, is it not? Yeah, it seemed like it was, it was awful close, but, you know, the diggers hit him right at the line of scrimmage, but nobody could hit him low enough, and nobody had the strength really to slow him down. In a situation like that, everybody's got to fly in there and shove that pile backwards. Not there to let their offensive line shove the guy forward. I mean, they picked up a second and 21. They had a third and 18. Now it's first down and 10 for the beat digger. 13 to red in motion to the right. Low snap again. Kroll takes off with the football, and he lunges his way to the 11. He was grabbed around the ankles by Michael Nichols for a gain of two. And upcoming will be the 12th play of the drive, second down and eight to go for the Eagles. I think they wanted to get that snap up in the air so he could hand that ball off real quick on like a fly in the round. But since it was rolled back there, he just had to make something out of nothing. And luckily our digger were staying home and ready to make the tackle there in the middle. Second down and nine yards, make it eight yards to go for Faith Christian at the brush 11. Out of the gun, Kroll awaits the snap, low snap, and he drops the ball and falls on it at the 14. It was low, but he should have handled it. 
and it's a three-yard loss. And I'm telling you, Faith Christian is doing everything possible to allow the beat diggers to stop them. Yeah, it's like they want third down because they're so confident they can get that big play. Troll's got a good arm. He throws it right on the money. This is going to be the 13th play. By the time the play commences, they'll have chewed up seven minutes. And now Faith Christian calls a timeout. We'll keep it right here. 2.15 to go in the opening quarter. Both teams went three and out on their first drives. But again, the key play was that 40-yard pass to Jonah Gardner on third and 18 that Ben Brown was in position for but just didn't get high enough. Or maybe he should have backed up a step and then could have either knocked it away or picked it off. Yeah, I think when you're in that position, you know the pressure's there to make the play. And, and uh, you jump just one foot too soon and or you look back one second too soon and you, you just miss out on that speed, that little bit of speed to stay close enough to the receiver. But you got to give Faith Christian some credit. They Every single play, they have a different set. They're not coming out giving us a chance to, to settle back into the same position. One minute they're in that double wing, then they come out and spread everybody out, and then they have nobody in the backfield, and our defense has got to settle down and, and just recognize where their, their key players are. Like right now, they got to recognize where Gardner is. Well, they're not getting fooled by the run. I mean, they missed a couple of tackles on that Muniz carry. They're really not getting fooled by the pass. They're just not playing as tight as you, you say they should be. Yeah, we just got to make the play on that on that ball. We really need to get some pressure on the quarterback right here. I'll tell you what, Ryan Dunker's been able to do it. Third down and 11 for the Eagles off the timeout at the B-Digger 14-yard line. 2.15 to go in the opening quarter, no score. Crow is under center. The back's in an eye. Doesn't mean he won't pass. Play action, looking to throw to his right. Lofts it towards the end zone, but the receiver broke inside, and the ball was thrown towards the corner. Miscommunication there. And the intended receiver was Luke Eggers. It'll be fourth down, and that was a, that was a Dave, that's ridiculous off a timeout how badly the miscommunication was there. Yeah, you wonder if they didn't say, hey, pay attention to where the guy's playing. If he's playing the outside, run inside. If he's playing the inside, run outside. Obviously, they got that mixed up between the two of them. Well, now the B-Diggers have no excuses. Fourth down and 11 for Faith Christian at the 14-yard line. Rush has not had to really make a big play on this drive. Faith Christian's made some miscues, at least on these last three plays. Out of the shotgun is Kroll. Awaits the snap. Back to throw. No pressure to his left. The pass is complete at the three to the one. Dives and out of bounds at the one. Nick Wellen made the tackle, but again, loose coverage by the B-Diggers. I mean, very, very loose coverage. The same thing is happening. And was that Gardner again? Yep. My gosh. A gain of 13 to the 1. And upcoming is the 15th play of the drive. And wow, that's got to be frustrating. Yeah, 84 yards for them. 84 yards for Gardner. We better keep our eye on that guy. Now he's back over there on the other side. They move him from the left side over to the right side. Well, it's going to be either Muniz or Durrett with a carry here, you would think. Hand off Muniz right up the gut. And he is into the end zone for a touchdown from one yard away. And that was a drive that took nearly seven and a half minutes, 15 plays, and they covered 78 yards. Amazing. And the B-Diggers had so many opportunities. I mean, so many to make the play. Just one play away from holding Faith out of the end zone. Are they going to go for two? I think they are. Yep. Kroll in a shotgun, trips to the right. They'll go for the two-point conversion. Watch a slant here to Gardner. Back to throw, looking to Gardner, throwing underneath, and it's caught. Yep, right to Jonah Gardner. Two-point conversion is good. 1.40 to go in the first quarter. Faith Christian 8, brush nothing on 1010 KSIR and KSIR.com. The Eagles lead by a score of eight to nothing. There's a high kick that's going to bounce at the 18-yard line. The ball is loose. Pete Digger's going to fall on it, and it's still loose. And Faith Christian has it at the 23. Brush fell asleep. I mean, nobody got up there, and it was recovered by the Eagles off a short kick, and recovered by Paul Hedrick. The sloppy football by Brush. Yeah, I th you know our our deep guys. They were back there on about the five and. And uh, I think Faith Christian saw that big hole in between our deep guys and then our, our up man. And, you know, the kicker just did a really good job kicking it right into the middle of the of that spot. But the ball took an unusual bounce like a football does. And 
it was kind of crazy because neither one of our neither one of our guys really went for the ball. They did, I think they both expected somebody else to get it. First and ten for the Eagles at the B Digger 24 yard line. Hopefully this is not a sign of things to come, but not looking good now out of the shotgun crawl. And we've got a whistle, but I don't see a flag down. The flag is down, it's on the sideline. Faith Christian has made a lot of mistakes tonight, illegal procedure, but they've gotten away with most of them. Yeah, they have. That time Gardner got called for a false start. They had him lined out, clear out here really wide, nobody in the backfield. you got to believe they're just going to throw the ball back to him again. They've had bad snaps, illegal shift, illegal procedure, holding. They've gotten away with most of that. 40-yard first down. First down and 15 for the Eagles at the beat digger 29-yard line. 135 to go in the opening quarter. Kroll throws out to his right. Wide open Durant at the 30. Stutter steps to the 25. Breaks it up a tackle. And he's down at the 21. Tackle was made along the far sideline by Trent Mount. Now mark it at the 20. It's a gain of nine. Second down and six to go for the Eagles. And that Durant is quick. He is quick. Fast feet. Our guys are making a play on him, but... It's just too late. We leave our feet. We have to dive because he just deceptively runs past us. Second down and nine to go from the 20. For Faith Christian, check it. Second and six to go at the 20 after the gain of nine. And a gun. Kroll five steps behind center. Perfect snap. Hands off and now flag thrown again. That's another procedure penalty against Faith Christian. Now we'll take what we can get. Make it second and ten. But, David, the B-Diggers just make one play. They they stay in this game. I mean, they, this should be a 0-0 game at this point. Yeah, we're losing those one-on-one -on -one battles, aren't we? We really need to may, be the one that makes that athletic play. All right, now it stands at second down and 11 from the 25. Under 35 seconds to go. Kroll in the gun, lining up on the right side of the field. Two receivers to the left, and the B-Diggers move. They went for the hard count. Yep, they got it right back. Oh, they say they got to watch the ball, and the beat diggers didn't watch it there. Faith Christian went on a 15 play drive that covered 78 yards. Two point conversion was good. They lead 8 to nothing in the waning moments here of the opening quarter. Now we're back down to a second down and six from the 20 yard line of the beat diggers. Kroll out of the gun, trips to the left. Back to throw, looks to his left, a screen out to Durant, and he slips out of a tackle to 20, back to the 15, stutter steps to the 5, and got to the inside towards the end zone, touchdown! Oh my gosh, you're right, he has incredible moves. Elijah Durant, 20 yards from Isaiah Crow on the Eagles' lead, with 7 seconds to go in the opening quarter, 14 to nothing. Takes him to 113 yards passing, but just like we said, you know, he's got that stop and start. Our guys would fly up there. We think we're going to make the tackle. He'd stop and let him run by. Then he'd take off again. Had a little C.J. Anderson look to him. Oh, my gosh. That was, I mean, it was pretty. As much as we didn't like to see it like that, very pretty. By Durrett. Now the two-point conversion. Crawl on the gun. Two-step drop. Throws to his left. Caught by Gardner. Same play as they had for the previous two-point conversion. It is now 16 to nothing. We'll keep it right here. With only seven seconds to go in the opening quarter, but the B-Diggers, they are in danger of getting blown out if they don't do something. Well, they got to catch the football on the kickoff to start with and aggressively go after it if they don't. Much shorter drive there that covered 24 yards. Off the beat digger miscue. Yeah, just got to be alert at this point. I mean, this is essentially trying to start over of your brush, forgetting about what happened and having a short memory. Here's the kick. I believe that's Eggers. A short one fielded at the 18 by Peterson. Straight ahead to the 25 behind a blocker to the 30. Down at the 32-yard line. That's the end of the opening quarter with a score. Faith Christian, 16, brush nothing. This is 1010 KSIR and KSIR.com. We begin the second quarter. 
The quarterback, Cade Urich, takes the football himself across the right side, but back to the line of scrimmage, starting from their own 32. John Beltran with Dave Urich, 16 to nothing. Faith Christian, second down and 10 to go for the Bee Diggers. They do not have a first down. They've only had the ball once after the special teams mistake following Faith Christian's first touchdown. Trips to the left. Yurik is in a shotgun. Mounts on the inside slot. Second down and 10 from their own 32. Mounts in motion to the right. Yurik has the football. Three-step drop. Lofts it up the right side, and the pass is going to be incomplete. No interference there. Looked like Mount was blocked towards his path to try and catch the football. And Jordan Abbott, the sophomore, defending the play. Had it been thrown to the outside a little bit more, Mount could have had a play in the football. Yeah, he needed to get over that outside shoulder on the sideline side to, to make a play. The Faith Christian kid was just running right with him, step by step and stride by stride. Third down and 10 to go for the Bee Diggers at their own 32-yard line. Three receivers to the left. Looked like a Bee Digger took off too early, but no whistle. Yurik lofts it deep up the left side. That's going to be incomplete. Mount was well defended at the 34-yard line by Elijah Durrett. And Dave, I gotta be honest with you, I'm not sure why they're going for the home run so early. I mean, that, I, I'm sure that's a pattern they're running, but Mountain, both occasions, was covered very well. Right, they had a couple guys here short. One of them was probably open. Might not have been the first down, but it would have made it fourth and short. A body cut a punch for the beat diggers. Now we have a stoppage in play. Dave, what's disheartening about this is not that they're down 16-0, but this could be a scoreless game. I and mean, you had so many opportunities to stop him on that second drive. And then, of course, nobody covering the kickoff. Perfect snap to Abadka. Here comes the pressure. He gets it off a line drive. The ball doesn't turn over at the 37. Fielded by Durrett at the 32. Runs out of a tackle right there. Spins to the 35, and he's down at the 36. Nice special teams tackle by Ryan Dunker, a junior. But the Eagles have the football at their own... 36 yard line to begin their fourth drive already yeah Isaac D. Herrera for the Diggers was the first one down there to, to cover that punt and did a really good job of hustling down the field first and 10 for the Eagles at their own 36 yard line yeah I think Brush is going to have to establish the shorter passing game and the running game I mean they threw two passes that were in my mind low percentage trips to the right going to gun right now low snap back to throw to his left open underneath this Gardner slips out of a tackle he's at the 50 in the open field of the 35 up the left sideline to the 20 Peterson chasing him at the 10 for the five touchdown 64 yards on the pass from Isaiah Kroll to Jonah Gardner who is destroying Brush and the Bee Diggers now trail 22 to nothing yeah, it was frustrating because, again, we can we can make that tackle. He might have caught the ball. We can make that tackle, but it just didn't happen. Would have been about a four or five-yard play. Yep, yep. Just leave. A guy left his feet, and his feet were kind of flying in the air and didn't have a hold enough, or enough strength to hold on to him. Well, two-point conversion again. Kroll is in the gun. Is he going to throw to Gardner? B-Diggers jumped. Well, that's another issue now. They'll be that much closer. They can run the football. They have 176 yards passing. Gardner's got 147 of his own. That's amazing. Yeah, that's... At this level, he could be on track for a record. I mean, he is uh, having an incredible game so far. All right, let's see if he lines up under center this time. And... Nope. Kroll being the gun. Two receivers out to the right, one to the left. Snap is there. Hand off to Muniz. Left side. He's not going to get in. Bee Diggers held him up. We need more plays like that if you're the Bee Diggers. Two point conversion is no good. As Josh Chacon was one of the Bee Diggers in on the play. 10.46 to go, second quarter. Faith Christian, 22, brush nothing. A 30 second break on 1010 KSIR and KSIR.com. Mount fields a kickoff at the 14 across the 20 tackle to the 28. Jordan Abbott got down there on special teams to make the play. 
64-yard pass from Isaiah Cole to Jonah Gardner. It actually went just a few yards, but he ran the rest. And the Eagles in blowout fashion right now. Who typically makes a lot of those tackles back there? Colin Cole. You're right. We're seeing, we're seeing the, the absence of him and wishing he could get well fast. First and 10 for the Bee Diggers at their own 27 yard line. They do not have a first down as of yet. Under center is Uring. The counter to Lopez running right. A seam to the 30 and then he runs into Jordan Abbott right there. Picks up a little bit over three yards in the play. It'll be second down and seven to go for the Bee Diggers. Uh, three yards, one of the better plays for Brush tonight. Right, but did you see that nice tackle? They tackled down around the knees. There's no grabbing hold of his waist or anything like that. Second down, and seven to go for the Beat Diggers at their own 30-yard line, down by 22. Backs in an eye. There's the pitch to Peterson, swinging it towards the middle, and he lunges towards the 35. Not sure he got that far. He picked up, I'm going to say, four yards. Stacked up over there by Corey Farrow, a junior at 6'1", 195. It'll be... Third down and four to go for the Bee Diggers. They desperately need a first down just to establish some momentum. And you got to play defense as well. Keith Christian still in that 5-3, not blitzing any linebackers. From the 34, handoff, Peterson right side. First down across the 40 to the 42, maybe the 43. Abbott in there to make the play, but it's a gain of eight for Jaron Peterson. And the Bee Diggers needed 14 and a half minutes to pick up their initial first down of this game. Yeah, but we're running the football and... When you can run the football, 22 points isn't something you can't get back. No doubt. Oh, yeah. I mean, this game is long from over. Under center is Cade Urich from the 42 on Brush's side of the field. Hand off Peterson, left side of the 45. Man, he had a hole. He closed quickly. He gets close to three yards. But, Dave, that hole was open for a while. But some nice gang tackling in there, including Ryan Muniz. Second down and seven to go for the Bee Diggers, who are trying to eat up some clock just to keep their defense off the field. Right. Now their defensive line plays about a yard and a half, maybe two yards off the ball, and that gives them plenty of time to get up out of their stance and, and make their reads, but it also gives us time to, to get downfield on them a little bit. And I think that's what causes that hole, hole to close up quick. Second down, seven yards to go from their own 45. Yurik on the pitch right to Peterson, swings it to the outside of the 50. He's inside the 50 towards the 49, maybe the 48. He's probably about a half a yard shy of the first down again. Uh, we'll call it six. Third down and less than a yard to go. And now, you know what we're seeing, Dave? It's called beat digger football. Exactly. 25 yards now and five carries. And now we're back into that average that we expect to see. Well, let's see if they feed the hot hand in Peterson. He might be getting tired. But when you're down by 22, you've got to give it to your big gun. Third and one. From the 49, Urich hands it off to the up man. No, he's going to take it himself to the right side. He's going to lose yardage. I don't know if there was confusion on that handoff to the fullback. But he's going to be tackled back at the 50 for a loss of one. What do you do now? Fourth down and two at midfield. Yeah, I think when you're down by 22, I think at this point you got to go for it. Well, was that a design play by Urich? It just it looked a little bit clunky there. Well, it might have been sort of an option look where it looked like he put the ball in the in the belly and pulled it back out and kept it. Let's see if this goes to Peterson. Fourth and two from midfield for the Bee Diggers. Pitch to Peterson. Right side. First down across the 50. Inside the 45 to the 43. Jordan Abbott made the tackle again, but Jaron Peterson has picked up seven yards and the drive continues for Brush. You bet. Again, Diggers are running some unbalanced line. Faith Christian is staying in that 5-3. They're not blitz, blitzing any linebackers, but like we said earlier, sometimes they'll eagle a guy down or else they're not recognizing that, that extra blocker we have on one side. Bay Diggers have no receivers in on this formation. First and 10 at the Faith Christian 43. Handoff on the counter to Peterson, and he runs into defenders maybe a yard beyond the line of scrimmage. Ryan Muniz in on the play and officially no gain second down and 10 to go for brush and also in on the hit for faith christian was corey farrow digger offensive line is going to have to hold on to those blocks for a little bit longer can't make that one hit and, and release so quickly second down and 10 for the 43 
Cade Urich rolling to his right, throwing underneath. The pass is caught along the right sideline and close to a first down, tumbling at around the 33 towards the 32 for Brush. Once again is Jaron Peterson. Man, that's a lot of punishment Peterson's taking over there. But I check that was Nick, Nick Wellen. Yep. Gain of 10 to the fullback, Nick Wellen. Yeah, one worse 20, one worse 28. So Wellen, he did, he cartwheeled. He got up shaking his head a little bit. First and 10 for the beat diggers at the 33. There is the pitch to the right side and a big hole across the 25 towards the 20, inside the 20 to about the 19, and that is Jaron Peterson. The bee diggers pick up another first down, and the bee diggers are now in the red zone. That's a gain of 13 for JP. 45 yards now on eight carries. His average is really stacking up. Faith is trying to slow things down a little bit. And with 5.56 to go before the break, they do call a timeout. That's a good timeout, Dave, because they might be getting tired on defense, and the bee diggers have held the football. Let's see here for almost five minutes. Yeah, sometimes you just gotta gotta regroup. You see that in volleyball a lot. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. have a timeout left. You better rotate somebody or something. Just stop the stop that ball from rolling. The diggers, boy, they're doing a good job of blocking. Peterson, they sure are seeing some nice holes, and you'll see him run the hole, and, and then he'll step to the outside or to the right or the left of of it, just to where the where the opening is, and he shoots through there. Well, they've traveled 53 yards on this drive, starting at their own 27. They're now at the 20 of the Eagles. First down and 10 for Brush. And on this drive, they have picked up four first downs. Nick Wellen, Adrian Lopez, and Jaron Peterson are in the backfield. It gives the beat diggers and Peterson a breather. Low snap, pitch to Peterson. Stutter stepping, and he's got maybe half a yard. The timing was thrown off on that play because of the mishandled snap. Gain of one, the tackle was made by Mitchell Black. A 6'1", 245-pound junior. It'll be second down and nine to go for the beat diggers, and they're going to be running the 12th play of the drive. That was a good snap. It just looked like one of those you caught with your ring finger and your pinky. You didn't quite get it in the middle of your hand, and had to toss it up to himself to get a hold of it. Peterson is the lone setback. Trips to the left. Mounts in motion. There is the pitch to mount. He tries to break out of a tackle, and then he lunges back to the line of scrimmage. If even that, I think he lost a yard to the 20. Let's see where they spot the football. And it will be a loss of one. Third down and 10 to go for the Bee Diggers. Under five minutes to go, second quarter. Faith Christian with a 22-0 lead. See how effective that timeout was. Gave their kids a chance to breathe a little bit and maybe made our kids think a little too much. Two receivers put each side. Third and 10 from the 20. Yurik, two-step drop. Now rolling to his left. He's going to be sacked. Sacked back at the 30. Elijah Durrett throws down Yurik for a 10-yard loss. What do you do here on fourth and 20 from the 30? You've got to go for it, but... Man, it's going to be very difficult, obviously, to pick up the first down. Yeah, I think you throw some sort of a post pattern or something, hope one of their kids has got good coverage, and maybe you pick up a, a defensive penalty if you can't catch the ball. Or a screen, but they, they got a lot of speed on defense. Fourth down and 20 to go for the Beat Diggers at the Faith Christian 30. Cade, you're going to shotgun. Three-step drop. Screen out to the left. Caught by Peterson at the 25. Stutter steps to the 20. Still on his feet to the 15. Still going. He's going to be short of the first down. But that play worked really well, David. Went for 16 yards, but Faith Christian takes over. Yeah, it was a really nice play as well thrown. and Nice catch. And Peterson did a good job of, of eluding the tacklers. Couldn't quite break that last tackle. Faith Christian has it with 3.54 to go. In the opening half, two touchdown passes from Isaiah Kroll. He's also thrown a couple of two-point conversion passes. First and 10 for Faith Christian at the 14. Isaiah Kroll once again in the gun. Perfect snap. Throws it out in the left flat, making a move across the 15 to the 20, now to the 22. That might be Luke Eggers it is. Well, the tackle was made. That's a gain of, let's 
see if we call it seven or eight. Uh, we'll call it seven, second and three. But again, we had our chance right up at the line of scrimmage and just couldn't make the tackle. Couldn't hold on to him. Second down and three from the 21. Faith Christian has one timeout remaining in the opening half, up 22 to nothing. Two receivers to the right. Crow on the shotgun, hands it off right up the middle and stacked behind the line of scrimmage back at the 20-yard line. I don't think that was, that might have been Nagy. Let's see. Yep, it is David Nagy. That'll be a loss of one, third down and four. Yeah, Diggers did a really good job of making a good tag on him right at the line of scrimmage. That was Isaac Romero. Yep. Isaac Romero wearing 62, occupying the right side on the B-Digger defensive line. Third and four. This has been the problem for the B-Diggers, defending third down. Throwing out to his left. Open caught by Gardner at the 25. Spinning across the 30 to the 33. He's just running a hard stop. And then he's catching the ball. And that time it's a gain of 13. Yeah, our, our corners are just having a really hard time um, staying with them. Uh, that time uh, our guy just fell down. He ended up on his belly and just couldn't keep feet. Yeah, it's a tough assignment. I thought the Eaton assignment was tough. This is tougher. Oh, yeah. 196 I mean, yards passing for them now. Yeah, Trent Mounts and Ben Brown have their work cut out for them here. I mean, it has been very difficult to defend these guys on the passing. Luke Eggers, the receiver to the right, out of the shotgun. And now we have a whistle. Was a timeout called prior to the whistle? Yeah, Faith Christian called their third timeout. We have 2.09 to go here in the opening half, and the Eagles lead 22 to nothing. Find out why Morgan Community College is the best choice for your higher education. Visit MCC online at morgancc.edu or stop by the campus for a personal advising session. MCC, there to help you imagine your possibilities, believe in yourself, and achieve your goals. And... Groceries, fresh cut meat and deli items, Floral Pharmacy, Western Union, Public Service Payments, 24-hour gas, Brush Grocery Cart, your one-stop shop, 1302 West Edison Street in Brush. Dave, just keep them off the scoreboard. I mean, this cannot be a 28 or 30 to nothing game by the break. No, we absolutely do need to keep them off. But just to get that confidence defensively, we well, really that's need to the be thing. close enough to Gardner to at least knock the ball down, you know, be able to bat the ball on the ground or... Maybe get in his way a little bit. Maybe even commit a penalty, you know, just to keep him from catching the ball. Right. Maybe getting a little bit physical. First and 10 for the Eagles at their own 33. A beat digger move on the right side. First and five now at the 38-yard line. I mean, it's been demoralizing enough, but you got to keep them out of the end zone. They have no timeouts and just over two minutes to go before halftime. Two receivers out to the right, one to the left. On first and five from the 38. Kroll in the gun, hands it off left side to Nagy. Tries to slip out of a beat digger tackle, but gains only about a yard to the 39-yard line. And it looked like Jade Queen got a good piece of the ball here. They'll give him close to two yards. Second down and three to go for Faith Christian. The clock reads one minute and 45 seconds to go. Second quarter, the Eagles up 22 to nothing. The faith crowd was getting on Andrew Guzman because he put a hit on their quarterback out there. But he thought he had the ball. They made such good fake. We have one receiver split to the left, two to the right side. On second down and three from the 40. Shotgun troll, deep drop. Throws it deep up the right side. It's overthrown. Well defended by Nick Wellen. I mean, he was all over the receiver, Brandon Herman. I don't, I don't mean illegally. That was outstanding coverage. It'll be third down to go for the Eagles. Yeah, he was step by step with him. There was no pass interference, but he, he forced them to, to make the perfect throw and the perfect catch. Dave, you know what's coming now. Got to be a short pass to Gardner. I mean, it's getting that predictable at this point. But Mount is right there with him now. Let's see if he gets physical with him. Third and three from the 40. Kroll spins, looks left, throws. The pass is incomplete at the 49-yard line. And Trent Mount did a very good job that time. Gardner did get his hands on it, but the throw was a little bit high. And it was a little bit high because Feed Diggers did have a little pressure and he was rolling to his left and Mount was right there. But well, we started the game playing five to seven yards off the line of scrimmage. That time Mount was right up in his face, one yard off the line of scrimmage and he bumped him right when he took off. So, so what we're gonna have to do is 
Now let him get that free release. The Eagles to punt. That is Gardner who kicks it off the right side of his foot. Takes a huge faith Christian bounce to the 15. Fielded at the 20. Mount Stutter stepping to the 25. He's got some room and he's down at the 27. Nifty return there by Trent Mount. It's at the 27. Well, here's the deal, Dave. you got a minute six to go before the break. You have all three timeouts and you receive the football first in the second half. Got to put points on the board here. We need a big play of our own. First and 10 for the Bead Diggers at their own 27-yard line. They did drive the ball nearly 60 yards. and In fact, over 60 yards in their last possession. Did not get into the end zone. Trips to the right. Urich rolls that way. Still rolling. Throwing passes. Tip. And is it caught off the deflection? No, incomplete. Who's out there on the right side for Brush? Caleb Cox. Wow. Yeah, no wonder I didn't recognize who was in there. Yeah, the junior. Second down and 10. Hey, he did a great job coming back for the ball. He just about caught that thing. That's a terrific athlete. Second down and 10 to go for the beat diggers at their own 27. Again, trips to the right. Peterson is in motion to the left. Urich out of the gun. Naked backfield. Quarterback draw. Right up the middle to the right now at the 30. And he lunges to the 33. Picks up six of the play. Third down. And four to go. For the beat diggers. Jordan Abbott in on the hit again. You think we're going to see that screen again? Yeah, I mean, we got 36 seconds to go. Peterson is the lone setback. Trips to the left on third down and four. Looking left. Pass out in the flat. Is caught by Mount to the 35. Along the left sideline of the 40. First down. Across the 40 to the 42. It's a gain of nine. Excellent play by the Bee Diggers. Now they should call a timeout. They do. Brought to you by Greg Bowen at State Farm Insurance. Home model life and health. State Farm Insurance is there for you and your family. Give Greg Bowen a call. 842-4555. 20 seconds to go in the half. Bee Diggers trail 22 to nothing. But you have two timeouts. And at this point, I mean, you're going to pass the ball. There's no doubt about it. Yeah, you got to take a couple shots to the end zone, I think. But again, you know, that was a nice play there. A wide receiver screen, had his blockers out in front of him and did a good job after he caught the ball and, you know, changed directions a couple times to make Faith miss him. But that's what I'm saying. This whole half has been frustrating. I mean, Faith doesn't appear to be 22 points better than Brush. But that's the case right now. Like I said, you know, I think it's just a matter of not being able to win those one-on-one battles. First and 10 for the Bead Diggers at their own 42. Yurik is going to roll to his right. He's going to toss underneath. The pass is caught by Mount along the right sideline. We've got a late flag, and that might be a roughing the passer as he's out of bounds at about the 46-yard line. It is roughing the passer against Faith Christian. Uh, they'll mark it at the 47. So the gain is 11 and tack on an extra 15. It should be at the 32. 14 seconds to go. We have possibilities here. Yeah, that puts the ball all the way down on almost the 30-yard line. Yep, 32-yard line. Here we go. Yeah, you got to use up your timeouts here. Cox, Brown, and Mount are the receivers to the right. Abanka to the left, Peterson in the slot. First and 10 for the bead diggers at the Faith Christian 32. Yurik, deep drop, a screen to the left to Peterson at the 35, along the left side to the 30, back to the 25. He's at the 20, stutter stepping, and he dives to the 16, but there's a flag down, and I think the bead diggers are gonna lose all that yardage with three seconds to go. Yeah, we had a block in the back. Our receiver goes out here on this side. He was obviously behind the kid, and he continued, even though the kid, he started off in front of him, the kid turned his back to, to run and try to make the play, but our guy still went ahead and blocked him in the back anyway. That nullifies a 17-yard gain on the pass from Yurik to Peterson. Well, now you just put it up for grabs. Football will be placed at the 42. It's from the line of scrimmage. Yeah, you got to call the timeout because the clock would have restarted. Second timeout brought to you by Greg Mon at State Farm Insurance. I mean, I, Yurik definitely has the arm to get it into the end zone, Dave. There's a, there's a wind, but I don't know if the wind is really playing a factor. I said 75 degrees, but it's 
that was at the kickoff, but I mean, it's obviously cooled off. It's probably in the 60s, I would think. Yeah, and the wind is coming from the south, coming from maybe it's all those cars driving by on I-70 over there, but uh, you know, he's going to have to throw it against the wind, but there's no doubt he can put it in the end zone. It's a shame that one got called back because with the Rubina's leg and Puga, we might have been able to kick a field goal and oh, take yeah. a shot at it there. Right, you're t- talking about a 33-yard field goal at that point now. We'll see what the beat diggers have planned. Man, I'd lo- love to see the hook and lateral. Something like that. I mean, I, I always say that, but come on. What do, what do I know? If you can heave it to the end zone, it's anybody's ball. First and 20 for the 42. Final play of the first half, unless there's a defensive penalty. Pressure coming in the middle. Yurik lofts it deep up the left side, and that pass is going to be well out of bounds. Intended for mounted about the seven yard line, nowhere near the receiver. And that's the end of the opening half from Arbato. With the score, Faith Christian 22, and the Bee Diggers nothing. This is 10-10 KSIR and KSIR.com. Michael Osgood, a freshman, will kick it off for Faith Christian to begin the second half. Eagles lead the Bee Diggers 22 to nothing, and Ryan Dunker is out of the game with a left shoulder injury. Take it off his uniform. He's got an ice pack, and that's going to be a line drive headed towards the sideline. Mount has it at the 16, running to his right across the 25 on the wide side, and he's down at the 29. Kind of slipped there. A return of 13 yards for Trent Mount. He had some blocking up the middle. A wedge was set up. It looked like he went ahead and decided he was just going to try to take it all the way across the field and try to get outside. Ran into that force that Faith Christian had over there. Tried to stop and turn it back up the middle and lost his feet. Tackle by a freshman in Quincy Henson. First and 10 for the Bee Diggers at their own 30-yard line. No receivers in on this formation. Mount hands it off to Peterson right up the middle to the 35 to the outside, and he's down at the 38. And that Jordan Evan, how many tackles... As that guy made, it's a gain of eight, but if Abbott doesn't make the tackle, Peterson's still running. Yeah, they're they're just sure tacklers, boy. Every single time when they make the hit, you don't see our kids able to break anything. They just hit low, they get their shoulder pad on your thigh, and you're going to go down. Hey, the B-Diggers have won the battle at the line of scrimmage on several plays tonight. A lot of big holes to run through, that's for sure. Second down and two to go at their own 38-yard line. Uh, Barca's the receiver to the left. Two receivers out to the right. Peterson alone setback and a shotgun. Yurik, high snap, hands it off to Peterson. First down up the left side. Across the 40 to the 43. It's a gain. We'll call it a four to the 42. Ryan Muniz made the tackle for Faith Christian. That Ryan Muniz is fast. Peterson, uh, he was running upfield. Saw some daylight to the outside, so he... Quit trying to gain yards and try to get up the side of the or try to get up the sideline. Muniz just caught him from behind. Bay Diggers did not have a first down until the second quarter. Now they picked up six. First and ten at their own 42. Yurik at a shotgun. Yurik looks, throws over the middle, passes incomplete. It's deflected. Intended for Mount at the 50. That's hard to deflect the pass from a guy who's standing 6-2, but Faith has done it twice. Yeah. The kid was running a slant. That's what we were trying to we were trying to make that pass. But their defensive end and their tackle both got their hands up. It looked like Yurik tried to throw in between the two of them. Let's see if this goes to Peterson. Second and 10 for the 42 handoff. Peterson right side of the 45 into the secondary. First down across the 50 to the 47 for Jaron Peterson. It's a gain of 11. 70 yards on 12 carries. and Peterson definitely the workhorse. But give that offensive line some props as they're making some big holes. Again, that's why I'm saying this should not be a 22-point game. Rush can hang with his team. First and 10 at the Faith Christian 47. Hand off Peterson up the middle, stutter step to the 45, and then he backs his way to the 44. Jonah Gardner made the hit, but they're going to call 
It's just a two-yard gain back to the 45, second down and eight to go for Brush. Muniz was also there. Again, when they make the tackle, when they're there and, and they and they got a shot at making that tackle, they do because they hit so low. That time he had him around both knees. Well, Peterson's gotten the last two carries. He rarely gets three in a row. He's now the receiver to the right along with Trent Mount. Second and eight for the Faith Christian 45. Hand off to Wellen up the left side and he spins to the 43. He had a hole there, but it was closed once again by Ryan Moniz. Man, what are the dimensions on this guy? Because he's not big at all. Moniz, 5'9", listed at 185. I, doesn't look that heavy. Nah, he's a lot smaller than that. Third down. And six to go for Brush at the 43-yard line of Faith Christian. He's only a junior, boy. He's the he's the guy on their defense, that's for sure. Out of the gun is Cade Yurick. Mounts is in motion to the left. Yurick, play action. Throws out to his left. Pass is nearly intercepted. It's broken up. Intended for Mount at the 40. That was a dangerous pass. Had it been caught, it would have been a touchdown for Josh Burke. It'll be fourth down. That Burke kid did a great job reading that. He just stepped up in there and made a play for the ball. That's what a good corner does. The Bay Diggers down by 22 with 8.54 to go in the third. We'll go for it. Fourth and six at the 43 of Faith Christian. Yurik in a shotgun. Trips to the right. Yurik is going to roll that way. Pressure coming. Goes along the sideline. That is a terrible pass. Oh, my gosh. Mount was out there. He was covered by Abbott, but there was no shot. I mean, that ball sailed well over the head of Trent Mount, and now Faith Christian takes over on downs. Yeah, Mount was open. If you get him on the numbers, he's going to have the first down. But I'll tell you what, we got that offense rolling and got the running game going. Let's see if our defense can step it up this half. First and ten for the Eagles at their own 43. It was a good read by Yurick. He just didn't follow through whatsoever. Isaiah Kroll this time is under center. The backs are in an eye. The deep back is Elijah Durrett. He's got the football and he's hit right at the line of scrimmage. Man, the bee diggers, I'm telling you, Dave, they're winning the battle at the line. Riggs 10 ate him up and also in on the tackle for the bee diggers was Daniel Abadka. It'll be second down and 10 to go for Faith Christian. They only have 12 yards rushing. We've definitely controlled that line of scrimmage on both sides. 8.22 to go, third quarter. Faith Christian 22, brush nothing. Out of the shotgun is Kroll. He's done very well out of the gun. He's going to be looking left more than likely. He does know over the middle. Pass is caught by Durant at the 35. At the 15 to 10 by himself. Touchdown. 57 yards from Isaiah Kroll to the wide open Elijah Durant. Faith Christian, 28, rush nothing. 253 yards passing, and I'll tell you what, that was, if you wonder what's happening passing-wise, there was your example. The kid just blew everybody away. He had a lot more speed left to use, and we didn't have anybody that could hang with him. And the pass, Dave, was thrown perfectly. And they will go for two. Which is what they've been doing. Kind of Oregon-ish. Yeah, even though it backfired on Oregon against Nebraska. Out of the gun, and now we've got a flag. Delay of game. So now they'll take it from seven yards back instead of two or two and a half. Well, let's see the B-Diggers can keep this at a 28 nothing game. And it's amazing, Dave. They've been winning it with just one dimension, a passing game. Yep. We just don't have an answer to it. It's just amazing. You know, and that's a freshman quarterback. You don't see that very often. Nope. Out of the gun. Kroll back to throw. Lofts it to the left side. It's intercepted. Intercepted in the end zone. And the two-point conversion is no good. It was intercepted by Trent Mount. 
8.05 to go third quarter in Arvada. Faith Christian 28 brush nothing. A 30 second break on 1010 KSIR and KSIR.com. Picked a mount at the 15, stutter stepping to the 25, and then Trent Mount is held up right there on the return. After Faith Christian on a 57-yard pass there from Elijah, or from um, Isaiah Kroll, tried to upload the update there, but I guess it didn't go through, so. Now 28 to nothing. And the B diggers are just right now struggling to say the least. First and ten at the 25 for Brush. Handoff Lopez across the right side, and he's tackled at the 27. Tackle was made by Ty Ritter. Second down and eight. Faith Christian just sticking in that 5-3 all night. That time they, they played it square with the nose garden. Two tackles out there playing outside eye. Second down, eight yards to go for Brush at their own 27. On the counter to Lopez, running wide to the left. He's got nowhere to go. He is hit in the backfield, and that is Josh Burke throwing him for uh, at least a one, if not a two yard loss. We'll call it a one yard loss. Third down and nine to go for Brush. Faith, you know, they're young. You know, they got those freshmen and sophomores out there. Uh, that's for sure, but they have that speed. Our kids try to give up a little ground to get around the corner. We have one or two more yards, but we end up getting tackled for loss because we give that ground up thinking we can outrun them, and we just can't. Out of the gun. Peterson in motion to the right. There's four receivers out there. You're a quarterback drop. The middle of the 25 it doesn't have much more. Down at the 29, picks up three yards in the play. B-Diggers will have to punt. Ryan Muniz made the tackle. It'll be fourth down and six to go for Brush. Six and a half to go, third quarter. Faith leads 28-0. Yep, again, Faith just stayed in that 5-3. That time you saw him shifting guys around, and that causes a little bit of confusion for the offensive line. But the Faith linebackers just fly up in there and, and uh, make those tackles. They're just sure tacklers. A bot cut a punt. Durrett standing back at his 25, end over end. Durrett's going to back up. He was at his 35. He fumbles the ball, picks it up at the 34, and he's down right there. Caleb Cox was down there on special teams to make the play for the B-Diggers. Also, Josh Chacon. So Faith Christian has it at the 36. Today we don't want running clock here. Nah, we got to assert ourselves here defensively. We're back there with our five guys up there on the on the line, and looks like we're going to eagle down a little bit. We're in our 5-3. First and 10, Kroll, pitch right, swinging it to the outside across the 35 and stumbling down to the 39 is Colton Hafia Jr. Peterson and Riggs 10 were out there. It's, man, whoa, whoa, what is going on here? 41, that's a terrible spot. What the heck are they doing? I mean, he was tripped up at the 39, not that far down. Yeah, I think they're thinking he dove forward. And no, his knee was though. way down. That's a, that's a horrendous spot. And maybe I'm speaking out of frustration here I'm considering the way you. things are going. But come on. Second down and four to go at the 41. Under center handoff up the middle to the 44. That's the fullback. David Nagy, third down, and one to go, Isaac Romero made the hit for Brush. Yep, bigger defensive line, still doing a pretty good job of holding their ground. Like you said, they just got that big play on first down that really wasn't there. Kind of makes us have to fight from behind. Everybody knew, Dave, this Faith Christian team was a lot better than 0-3. I mean, you lose to three good teams like they played, they're going to be dangerous. Third down and one under center quarterback sneak Kroll, and he's hit right at the 45. I think he got it. Needed a yard, got a yard. Beat diggers were right there, including Romero. And getting up off the bottom of the pile, Riggs 10, but it's a first down for the Eagles. 
So that's a pretty good defensive stand there by Brush. You saw our defensive line stayed low and tried to submarine in there. I think good things are going to happen for Brush after this game. You got Sterling next week at home, Valley on the road. Solid possibility of going three and three, but they got to close out this game. First and ten for Faith of the 45. Handoff to Red Stutter steps across the left side. Down at about the 47 was the ball fumbled, and it is fumbled. The Feet Diggers pick it up. That might be Peterson. Let's see if it was. Yeah, I think that was Jaron Peterson. No, Nick Wellen. Again, 28 or 20, Nick Wellen recovers the direct fumble, and the Beat Diggers have it at the 43-yard line of Faith Christian. Man, that dread is fast. But the Diggers got in there and put a helmet on the football and made him drop it. Hopefully we can take advantage of this, get some points on the board. And... First and 10 for the Beat Diggers at the 43-yard line. The lone setback is Nick Wellen. Now Lopez joins him. Pitch right to Lopez. Not a seam, and he's down at the 45. One man was out there for Faith Christian. And the tackle was made by Ty Ritter. Second down and 12 to go. Kids not used to playing on this AstroTurf. You've seen that several times where they try to stop and make a cut. It's like they almost jump stop, but when they do, their heels slide out from underneath them. Yeah, that's what happened. He just didn't have his footing. 12 yards to go for the Beat Diggers. Second down and 12 for the Faith Christian 45. 340 to go. Third quarter. Faith Christian 28. Brush nothing. Lopez in motion again. There's the inside handoff on the counter to Peterson. He's at a yard behind the line of scrimmage. The Beat Diggers are blocking better up the middle. But they haven't run either of these plays near the middle of the field. As Ryan Muniz made the hit. Third and 13. And they, you're right, they've had their best luck just pounding the football at him out of that power eye formation. But you got to believe Coach Call is a little impatient. He'd like to get, hurry up and get some points on the board. Third down and 13 for the Eagle 46. Mount the receiver to the right. Peterson on the inside slot. Abadka to the left. Yurik rolling to his right, setting up, throwing. That's a bullet to Trent Mount out of bounds, short of a first down. That was a great throw. Well run pattern. That's what you need out of Yurik and Mount. That type of connection to the 40. And man, that seemed like it was a long pass, but it only went for six yards. Fourth down and seven. They've got to get to the 33. B diggers will go for it with 254 to go in the third. It's good that they get in that mindset to look for those those sure targets um, underneath, and then the kids have to get the mindset that they've got to make a play after they catch the ball. Two receivers out to the left, two to the right. Peterson make it well and in motion to the left. Yurik rolls that way, pressure coming. Gets around the defender, throws off his back foot. It's going to be out of bounds. And Faith Christian will take over on downs. Nothing, nothing that Cade Yurik could do there because he was under major duress. Yeah, he's running left and trying to throw with his right hand. But still, he, he showed that he can do it. But the digger receiver's got to do a little better job of trying to get open. Faith Christian defenders are just right there in their face, even though they're down the field. Nobody was able to break away. Dave, you think the beat diggers are in utter fear every time Faith Christian gets ready to throw the ball? I would be. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, run the ball. The Bee Diggers can stop the run. First and 10 at the 40. Now back to throw is Kroll. Deep up the left side. That's overthrown by about five yards. Jonah Gardner had a couple of steps on Trent Mount. It'll be second down and 10. And a Bee Digger is down in the backfield. That's Riggs Tan. Uh-oh. Riggs Tan is clutching a knee. And he is writhing in pain back at the 30-yard line. This could be a significant injury for Brush. Hopefully that's a cramp, but that doesn't look like a cramp from here. They're not stretching him out whatsoever. While they attend to Riggs 10, we have 2.41 to go in the third quarter. The score, Faith Christian 28, brush nothing. Let's take a break here on 10.10 KSIR and KSIR.com. Riggs 10 is okay off the field, second down and 10. Pass out to the right, incomplete. Jaron Peterson jumped the route, but it was thrown over him and intended... On the left side for Luke Eggers, and the Beat Diggers are called for a penalty, Dave. Was this roughing the passer? Absolutely, that's what they called. Not sure I agree with it. I didn't see the kid hit the ground, but the kids did put a hit on him after he threw the ball. Well, that gets the ball into Beat Digger territory at the 45. 
29 remaining third quarter. Faith Christian is the only points here in the quarter. A 57-yard pass from Isaiah Kroll to Elijah Durrett. Kroll has had a banner game. Three touchdown passes, two of those to Durrett, one to Gardner. First and 10 for the Eagles at the B Digger 45. Out of the gun is Kroll. Two receivers to the right, one to the left. Standing right at the 50-yard line. Kroll awaits the snap, receives the snap. Two-step drop, throws out to his right, incomplete again. Peterson tried to jump the route, but it was underthrown. Intended for Durrett at the 45. If that ball is thrown pop- properly, Dave, and I mean to the receiver, that's a pick six for Jaron. Yeah, he did a good job of making the play there, or being there to make the play if the pass would have been a good one. He read it just right. Digger's getting a lot of pressure on Kroll right now as well. Second down and 10 yards to go for the beat digger, 45. Rush has had the ball on a few occasions in Faith Christian territory, but they've stalled. One receiver out to the right. Kroll in the gun. Low snap, hands it off to Durrett on the end around. Swings it to the outside. No running room. Stutter steps inside the 45 to the 42. And that stutter step had the beat diggers off balance. It's a gain of three. And Trent Mount getting up very slowly. The tackle was made by Josh Chacon. Third down and seven to go for the Eagles. That Durrett is so fast. He was three yards behind the line of scrimmage. We had him surrounded. and He just sort of picked a hole in between our three defenders and ran right through him for five. If any of us tried to run like that, our knees would be operated on. And he's, he's just got flexibility all over the place. Third down and seven for the B-Digger, 42. Handoff on the right side and hit behind the line of scrimmage on a beautiful play by the B-Diggers and Isaac Morales, a sophomore in the ball carrier, Colton Hafey. He loses two yards, fourth and nine, back at the 44. Real nice job. He's filling in for Ryan Dunker right now. He was on a blitz. He shot up that A-gap, and he was able to catch him from behind. And does Faith Christian call a timeout? Ralph Nance does so. Let's take it with him. We've got a minute and 12 seconds to go in the third. It's Faith Christian 28, brush nothing on 1010 KSIR and KSIR.com. Third down and nine for Faith Christian at the beat digger 44. A minute 12 to go in the third. The Eagles lead the B-Diggers 28-0. Two receivers to the left, one to the right. In a shotgun, low snap. The ball is loose. Kroll picks it up, runs to his right, tries to run out of trouble. He's going to go down back at the 42. It's going to go as a sack. As a few B-Diggers were in there, including Isaac Romero, as well as Andrew Guzman. And that's going to be, let's see, what's the yardage on that sack? It's about 12 yards. It'll be fourth down. About 17 to go for Faith. Boy, the Diggers did a good job. Oh, the B-Diggers. Oh, that was the fourth down. I'm sorry. Yep. Well, there was no. Okay. B-Digger football. All right. Pay attention, John. First and 10 for the B-Diggers at the 43-yard line of Faith. I missed that altogether. Here's the handoff to Peterson. Stutter step. Ooh, he's upended at the 40. I mean, he was somersaulted there by Jacob Thielen, a sophomore after the change of possession. Second down and seven to go. That happens just because they're hitting so low. Boy, they're good tacklers. Use their speed to fly in there and hit them down around those thighs and around their knees and puts us up in the air, but we go down. As to the fourth down play, the B-Diggers were able to stop that now. Second and seven for the B-Diggers of the 40. Two-step drop. Yurik lofts it up the right sideline. Jump ball, and it is intercepted or caught. I think it was caught. He intercepted. No, it was inter- Well, Peterson was out there. I didn't see who intercepted it, Dave. There were two. Might have been Durrett. Nope. It's ours. Peterson did catch it. All right. That's what I, I mean. I saw him come away with a football. It's a gain of 24. And a first down for Brush, Jaron Peterson, with an athletic move along the right sideline. First and 10 at the 16. The Eagle fans were cheering like they had the pick. Three seconds to go. Out of the gun. Handoff. Lopez. And he stumbles his way for maybe a yard to the 15. That's the end of the third. One minute break. Faith Christian 28. Rush nothing. On 10-10 KSIR and KSIR.com. We begin the fourth. Second and nine for the B-Diggers. Head off to Peterson. Up the left side. 
and he dives to about the 10. For a gain of five, John Beltran with Dave Urich, 28 nothing Faith Christian, but the Bead Diggers have their deepest penetration of the game. Yeah, that little crossbuck action had Faith Christian running into each other a little bit. Diggers took advantage of that. Third down and four from the 10. You're going to shotgun Lopez and Peterson next to him. Awaits a snap. Urig takes off with the football, but there was movement all over the place by the beat diggers. Before the snap, it'll be a false start. Faith is starting to rotate a lot of their young. I mean, they have a lot of freshmen playing the whole game anyway, but now they're starting to put a lot of their, their smaller guys in. And hopefully that'll give us a chance to put some points on the board. Yeah, you'd like to do it against the first unit, but at this point you'll take it any way you can get it. The Bee Diggers have a third down. And eight to go at the 15. And a shotgun is Yurik. He has the football. One step drop. Lops, lobs it to the end zone and it's way out of the end zone. And no shot there for Trent Mount. But the coverage is smothering Dave. Mount had no shot. Yeah, that kid was right there with him side by side. But Cade, the thing Cade did a good job of is he threw it over his outside shoulder so it wasn't in a position to pick. It was just a little bit too wide. Yeah, these fades in the end zone are they're just not working. They're tough passes to throw. Fourth and eight from the 15. Can the beat digger score? Three receivers to the left side. Yurik rolls to the left, looking, throwing. The pass is caught. That'll be, no, was it caught and then uh, dropped right there. That was a major stick. Ben Brown took a shot. And was it incomplete because he caught it. Then he went down to the ground. Remember, a catch is different in high school than it is in the pros. I think that's a first down, Dave. I, I think they're going to get Brown the catch. The yep. Eagles are campaigning, so to speak, for a drop. But it's a gain of 12 and a first and goal. What a play. What a catch by Ben Brown as he was just popped on that one. 94 yards passing now. You're right. Brown did a good job of holding on to the ball because he did take a licking. First and goal at the three. Will Peterson get the football here and get into the end zone? Kay turns, hands it off to Peterson, left side. He's going to be dragged down right at the line of scrimmage. He might have gotten half a yard on that left side of the beat digger offensive line. No gain. Second down and goal to go for Brush for the three. Yeah, Digger's trying to run out of that power set and trying to run left. Remember last week, that's where we had our success, trying to run over there to that left side. The hole was there, but we got caught from behind by the blitz and linebacker. Second and goal from the three. Yurik on the pitch to Peterson, and he is stacked up for a two-yard loss. I mean, Peterson had no shot. As soon as he caught the football off the pitch, he was tattooed by one of the Eagles who we don't have on the roster here. It'll be third down and goal just inside the five. Well, we've controlled the line of scrimmage for the most part all night. But right now, they're starting to shoot those gaps, and offensive line doesn't have any answer to it. You know they want to pitch this shutout. Third and goal at the five. Yurik is under center. Yurik, play action, rolls to his right, throws underneath, the pass is caught at the three, but down right there is going to be Adrian Lopez. Two yards, and he's kept out of the end zone. Fourth and goal, just inside the three. One of those plays where you got to think, I got to get in that end zone. We're trying to score a touchdown. Got to get upfield a little bit further before you make your break. Tenth play of the drive with 8.53 to go in the game. Fourth down and goal for the beat diggers at the three. Wellen, Lopez, Peterson in the backfield. On fourth and goal. Yurik hands off to Peterson. Left side behind a block. Lunges towards the end zone and he's kept out. He's hit at about the yard and a half line is Jaron Peterson. And the Eagles take over on downs and still have the shutout going with 8.35 to go in the game. Same play that they ran 
on that final play in overtime when the Beat Diggers were held out of the end zone. First down for Faith Christian at their own two. You know, I don't blame Coach Call. That's the play that's been working. You oh, know, yeah. A lot of those yards, Peterson's got 79 yards tonight, but, you know, that's the play that's getting them for him. So you got to go with what works, and kids got to make it work there on the goal line as well. First down and 10 for the Eagles at their own two-yard line. Handoff right up the go. Oh, there's a flag down. That means another false start. That play went to Nagy. So they're going to place it at the one. It's a one-yard penalty. Dave, that football's barely beyond the goal line. Yeah, it's laying there inside the one. Let's we'll see if the coach is in well and in there in the middle. Try a new breakfast bowl or delicious breakfast burrito with your Willow Coffee or tea, Willow Coffee and Bake Shop. 921 Edison Street and Brush. First down and 11 at the one. And there is the give on the right side. And man, that's Nagy, I believe. Right back to the line of scrimmage. Yeah, he didn't get much there. Faith tried to run that trap just to gain some space and a little bit of breathing room. Look like Guzman and Chacon, if I can see those numbers from this distance, made the hit. They have big tight end. Brush is going to have to watch out for that Eggers kid. He's been pretty successful um, the last couple weeks. Out of the gun, second and 11 at their own one. Crow in the end zone. Way back to throw. Heaves it, and that pass is going to be caught at the 20 yard line in the open field of the 30. At the 50 yard line, Mike goes the distance to the 30 by himself at the 20 to the 10. That is Brandon Herman. And Michael Thorne was the quarterback. There is a flag down. There is a flag down. That would be 99 yards. But a flag is down at the 33. That was the left-handed quarterback, Michael Thorne. This one's got to come back, I would think. If it counts, it goes for 99. But that flag is sitting at the 33. And it's against Faith Christian. And that pass was caught at about the 20 for the bead diggers with some loose coverage there. Now, I wonder if they'll still pick up a first down if the penalty, since the penalty flag was downfield. The officials are discussing it now. Huh. I don't know what's happening here. I don't know. They're talking to our guys. Well, I mean, you take the penalty. That's obvious. You're not going to allow a 99-yard touchdown. Well, the flag is waved off. Unsportsman. Well, and they call it unsportsmanlike. Oh. What's that penalty? Sideline, Dave? Yep, or it must be after the play. Yeah, but the flag was thrown during the play. Wow. 99 yards. And that was from Michael Thorne to Brandon Herman. Well, wow, we've seen everything now. Now the extra point to be attempted or check it, a two point conversion. So once again, Thorne is the quarterback. Left handed quarterback has a snap, runs up the middle, and he's in. Or did he fumble? No, the ball is loose and it's recovered by Brush. I thought he crossed the goal line, he did not. 7.36 to go in the game. A 99 yard touchdown pass has extended Faith Christian's lead. 34 to nothing on 10-10 KSIR and KSIR.com. What do you think, Dave? A 99 yard pass? I mean, I, th I thought I'd seen enough tonight. From your backup quarterback to backup receiver. From your own one. Now the kickoff, it's squib to the beat digger, 34 and mishandle, picked up by Mount to the 35, Mount across the 45, down at the 46 yard line. I like that run back Mount had right there. Now he's been hobbling all night. Definitely playing with a lot of heart, playing hurt. 
But uh, I like that run back there because we didn't run slow. As soon as he got the ball, he just ran straight ahead as fast as he could. Bay Diggers have it first and 10 at their own 47. Yep, it's uh, time to get this clock running. Hand off right side to Peterson. Check that Wellen, and he's back through the middle into the secondary across the 40 to the 36. Good running there by Nick Wellen. A gain of 17, a beat digger first down. And someday I'll get that straight. I mean, 20 and 28 look similar at times. Now our numbers are hard to read. Wellen, I'll tell you what, freshman opportunity there for Brush to develop a younger guy. And Start getting that leadership created for future. First and ten for the bead diggers at the 36-yard line of the Eagles. Hand off to Lopez, running left across the 35. And then he's taken down at the 32 for a gain of four. Yeah, they, they want that shutout. There's no question about it. The tackle was made by Mitchell Black. Yeah, they're rotating some guys in, but they're keeping their nucleus in there at linebacker and and uh, they're, they're rotating those guys in there on that defensive line. Second down. And six to go for Brush. Hand off to Lopez. Stutter stepping first down to the 25. And then he dives to the 20. The play commenced at the 32. It's a gain of 12. For Adrian Lopez, Dave, you said it. The Bee Diggers have won the battle at the line of scrimmage, and yet they're down by this much. Yeah, all night long. With the exception of a couple of plays, we really have dominated the line. And there is the give to Lopez. Stutter stepping up the middle to the 15. He's to the 10, to the 5 right side. Touchdown. Touchdown for Adrian Lopez. And the Bee Diggers are on the board. 20 yards away faith christian 34 brush six yep i'll tell you what lopez he gets through the hole quick and he's hard to bring down you know he's lowers the shoulder and makes people take a hit eagles just couldn't get a hold of his legs like they've been tackling all night he was able to put a hit on them first the extra point to be attempted by jr puga and now do we have a delay of game? I don't know what we have here. Looks like it's going to be against Brush. Illegal substitution. Against the B diggers. We had one too many guys out there. All right, now it turns into a 25-yard extra point for J.R. Puga. A very high snap. Yura gets it down. The kick is up, and that thing is booted beautifully. Great job by Kate Yurik, the holder, getting the ball down for Puga. 6.04 to go in the game. It is Faith Christian 34, brush 7 on 10-10 KSIR and KSIR.com. Well, the Bay Diggers traveled 53 yards. They did it in about a minute and a half. 20-yard run by Adrian Lopez. And did the beat digger go off sides? That's usually the case because I heard a whistle there off the kickoff by Odbina. Yep, he made the call off sides. Guys that were over there on the, near the beat digger bench. They got to pay attention and not cross that line where the ball's at until Rabina kicks it. All right, so here we go. They'll kick off in the 35 instead. Faith has crept up, expecting an onside kick. Rabina takes four steps, booms that football high and deep. Back to the 14, and off the Eagle, picked up at the 8, to the 10-yard line, running to his left to the 20, across the 25, and boy, had one or two men to beat at the 30. That was Slayton Barton, a freshman. If he didn't stumble, that could have been trouble for Brush. It's a return of 23 yards, and the Eagles have it just beyond their 30. I think Nick Willen slid in there and was able to just get a hold of one of his ankles. 
kid did a good job when he ran it back. He kind of made a, a run towards the middle. And he got our outside guy, his head, our head hunter. He got him to go ahead and charge inside, and that was able to that enabled the the Eagles to get the block on him. And got to make sure we stay outside. Out of the gun, Michael Thorne runs to his right, gets around Nichols, looks for a seam, and then he's got a about a couple of yards. Excuse me, Nick Wellen. Made the hit along the sideline for a gain of about a yard. Second down and nine to go for the Eagles. So Nick Thorne, 101 yards offense tonight. Wow. Crazy. On two plays. Yep. Second down, they'll call it eight at the 33. Michael Thorne, the backup, is under center this time. Backs it an eye. There is the pitch right, swinging it to the outside across the 35 to the 36 is Colton Hafey. The knee was down at the 35, a gain of two, third down, and six to go for Faith Christian. We are at an even five minutes to go for Marbano. Not seeing Gardner on the sidelines here, so he's out there on the field. Corners better take note. Third down and six to go. Eagles on their own side of the field. They've had some huge plays tonight, including a 99-yarder. Out of the shotgun is Thorne. There's the handoff on the end around. Flag is down, and the play is ruled dead. Illegal procedure, false start, that is, against Faith. Dave, they're making the mistakes of a young team, but they have a way of overcoming those mistakes as well. Yeah, just, you know, those, those athletes... Just making those big plays. They take that opportunity. They get the ball and take advantage of the opportunity and make things happen with a lot of athleticism. You know, that, that team's got a lot of speed. It'll be third down and 11 from the 30. Clock is winding. Ty Ritter checks in for Faith Christian. B Diggers trail 22 to nothing at the break. There have been... Four touchdown passes in the game, and all of them have been thrown underneath. Trips to the right. The left-handed quarterback, Thorne. Back to throw. Pressure coming up the middle. The pass is caught by Ritter. Slips out of a tackle along the right side. He's going to be dragged out of bounds to the 40, close to a first down. They'll give him 10. He needed 11. It'll be fourth and one for the Eagles. Good throw and catch, and then a great job of of a team tackling out there by the Diggers. A lot of people got over there to help make the tackle and use the sideline to their advantage. Well, they'll backtrack the football to the 39. ACI proudly supports local high school sports throughout Northeast Colorado. When you need ice, don't just settle for any old frozen water. Get ACI on fourth and two. It will be Jonah Gardner to punt. Perfect snap. Here comes the rush. He gets it off, but it's a high fluttering short punt it'll land at the 40 take a huge eagle roll to the 30 yard line of brush that's where the beat diggers take over with 350 to go in the game really good rush there by the diggers guys were coming from the inside and the outside jade queen was almost able to make a block there how about another touchdown dave be a nice way to end the night it'd be beautiful Adrian Lopez scored from 20 yards out. And that was earlier in this quarter. Faith has a lot of backup defensive linemen out there. I believe their nose guard and both tackles are all, all uh, backups. They have kept their starting linebacker core in the game. Lopez in motion to the left. And there's the give to the deep man around the left side for a gain of about a yard. That carry went to Ray Cordova, a senior. Second down and nine to go for the beat diggers. Again, just some real sure tackling there by Faith. Getting in there and getting a hold of his knees. Cordova looked like he wanted to run off tackle. The hole wasn't there. Tried to bounce it to the outside. As soon as we quit trying to take up yards, their, their speed caught up with us. Brian Turner, a sophomore, made the play on second and nine. Hand off Lopez, stutter stepping. Wiggles his way up the middle. Well, you know, why they mark him down all the way back at the 32? He's, he lunged about the 34. Well, they'll backtrack it to the 33, a gain of a couple. Third down 
and seven to go. We've seen a couple of spots in this game that have been ridiculous against yeah. the bait diggers, too. You know, I just didn't see him touch the ground except for his hand. Third down and seven from the 33. 2.45 to go. Faith Christian 34, brush seven. Yurik hands it off to Lopez, up the middle to the 35, and then was ankle tackled at the 37, a gain of four. Fourth down and three to go. Right up the middle, that defense for Faith Christian. It was made by Mitchell Black. B diggers go for it. Fourth and three at their own 37. Oh, let's see if they run it up the middle again. It's been working most of the game. Black's a starter. They snuck back in the game. On fourth down, Yurik hands off to Lopez. Running left. First down across the 40. Down at the 45, gaining eight on the play. The drive continues for Brush. Yep, 56 yards now for Lopez. 11 carries, but still Brush running left. You know, all of our lucks running over there to that left side. Well, now you're getting an indication two games in a row, maybe more than two games in a row, that side of the line for the Diggers is good. First and 10 from their own 45. Play action, Yurik to throw. Lofting it deep over the middle, everybody fell down. Intended for Abadka, the ball landed at about the 20. Abadka dropped to the 36 along with a couple of Eagles. Second down and 10 to go for the Diggers. Rick Stan usually is our tackle over there on that side, but now that he's hurt, we have a uh, Michael Nichols in the game. Michael's six foot one, 170 pounds, and doing a good job over there. The bead diggers are still waiting to connect on the deep play this season. Something they have not been able to do. A lot of underneath routes. Second down and ten from their own 45. Handoff Lopez up the gut to the 50. First down to the 45. In the secondary across the 40 to the 34 give him 21 yards for the hard running Adrian Lopez and a brush beat digger first down okay 77 yards now for him again just running right at him out of that power eye we have those two lead backs blocking offensive line still doing a good job of opening up the holes but that time was over the right side rather than the left minute 24 to go the football's at the 35 first and 10 for the diggers Yurik Hands it off to Lopez, stutter stepping, runs into a blocker, still on his feet and is down after a gain of three. To the 32, they're trying to do the same thing in this game as they did against Fort Morgan, score on their final drive. 56 seconds to go, Bay Diggers have all three timeouts. I don't think Coach Call's gonna call a timeout. In fact, Coach Call told me that against Fort Morgan, he did not call that timeout. The players called it, they wanted to get into the end zone, so. This is really on the players now to get into the end zone. Second down and seven from the Faith Christian 32. Under 40 seconds to go. Yurik, pitch left to Lopez, drops the ball, and he lands on it at the 35. It's a loss of three. And let's see if they run one more play, Dave. Because there's 25 seconds to go. Clock is running third down and 10 from the 35. They might just put it up here. They're in the huddle with 15 seconds to go. Up to the line of scrimmage. Down to eight seconds to go. This will be the final play of the game unless there's a defensive penalty. On third down, Yurik is going to hand it off right up the gut. And breaking tackles is Cordova. He's got a gain of four. And that is the end of the game. As the Faith Christian Eagles have defeated the Brush P. Diggers tonight in Arvada. 34-7. It's a two-minute break. We're back in two minutes on 1010KSIR and KSIR.com. The Bay Diggers fall tonight in Arvada to the Faith Christian Eagles, 34-7. Bay Digger post-game shows brought to you by Mr. D's Ace Home Center with three locations to serve you better, Sterling Brush and Fort Morgan. Your headquarters for all your home, farm, and ranch supplies from plumbing to feed. That's Mr. D's Ace Home Center. John Beltran back with Dave Urig. It was a tough night, obviously, for the B-Diggers in the second drive of the game. Faith Christian made a ton of mistakes but overcame them all. A 15-play drive, 78 yards, 7 minutes and 25 seconds. They converted a third and 18, a second and 21. Ryan Mooney scored from a yard out, two-point conversion pass from Isaiah Kroll to Jonah Gardner was good. It was 8 to nothing following a B-Digger mistake on special teams where the ensuing kickoff landed at the 24. No B-Digger picked it up. 
Elijah Durant caught a 20 yard pass three plays later. Two point conversion was good. It was 16 to nothing. And then on Faith Christian's next possession, a pass underneath to Jonah Gardner. He took it 64 yards for a score. 22 to nothing as the conversion was missed. That was the score at halftime. And then in the third quarter, it was Durrett again getting loose in the secondary, 57 yards. Two point conversion, no good. It was 28 to nothing. Then Michael Thorne, the backup quarterback, in the fourth with a 99 yard pass to Brandon Herman. Conversion missed. It was 34 0. B Diggers did close out the scoring. Adrian Lopez with a 20 yard run. PAT was good, 34 7. First day, let's run to the Faith Christian numbers, which were very impressive through the air tonight. Not so much on the ground. You know, they only had 17 yards rushing total. Um, and that was between five different guys running the ball plus their quarterbacks. So 17 yards rushing where they got all their yards was in the air. 362 yards in the air. Thorne and Crowell combined for a total of uh, 13 uh, uh, completions on 20 attempts. Plus they had two conversions in there. The big receiver of the night was Gardner. He had 160 yards on nine catches. Crowell threw the ball 18 times, like we said, for 253 yards. Thorne had the two throws for 109 yards and just a heck of a passing night for, for Faith. And, they were more physical out there, and they were able to get open, and our corners just couldn't hang with them. And as you mentioned, the bead diggers were sure tacklers, as we're also on Facebook Live right now, besides KSIR and KSIR.com. The bead digger ground game, when you look at it, was pretty effective tonight. Unfortunately, it came in a 27-point setback. Right. You know, our big rusher again tonight was Jaron Peterson. He had 19 rushes for 79 yards. Adrian Lopez there at the end of the game got a lot of a, a lot of attempts, 14 of them for 70 uh, seven yards, and then also Nick Willen had three carries for 19 yards. Ray Cordova had two for five, and then uh, Kay Durek, because of some sacks, ended up with a negative one. But he threw the ball 19 times. Eight of those were completions. That's pretty good for Digger's style of football. Um, ended up with 96 yards um, passing. Our leading receiver tonight was uh, Mount, who had three catches for 31 yards. Peterson had two for 24 yards. All right, it's time for the Beat Digger player of the game. And the B-Digger player of the game is brought to you by Cargill Beef, committed to feeding the world in a responsible way by reducing environmental impact and improving products and processes. Learn about Cargill's story of commitment at Cargill.com. I know we've given the player of the game uh, to Jaron Peterson already, uh, I believe, multiple times this season, and he obviously had a good performance. But uh, let's throw in Adrian Lopez, considering he scored the only touchdown for the B-Diggers. He ran hard and... Man, if they get production from Lopez to go along with Peterson, Dave, I mean, then you'd have a really solid running game because Peterson is certainly carrying the load up to this point. Right. And the diggers definitely need that guy that's going to be the other person so that teams can't just zero in and, and concentrate on Peterson. So good job to Lopez. He was very slippery out there, ran with some power, a lot of quickness. He was elusive and like you said, he was able to score. All right, Dave and I will be in brush. We return to brush next Friday night. When they take on the Sterling Tigers, that game will start at 7 o'clock with the Bee Diggers falling to 1-3 and three and Faith Christian moving to 1-3. and three. And like I said before, Dave, during the broadcast, I anticipate good things for the Bee Diggers now with Sterling and Valley as the next two opponents, not to discredit the opponents. But again, you finish strong tonight. As they did against Morgan, they rebounded against Lamar. No reason to think they can't do it next week against a struggling Sterling team. Exactly. We can't get our dauber down. This is good to lose early in the season. This is how you learn from your mistakes. This is how you get better. And the kids have to have some grit. they got to show they're going to come back and bounce back from these losses. But, you know, they still have a lot of football left play this year. Outstanding job tonight by our sound engineer and producer, Rose Condes, and the replay engineer, Julie Garcia. For Dave Urig, I'm John Beltran. We say good night once again on Facebook. Facebook Live as well as 1010 and KSIR.com. The final score, Faith Christian 34, Brush 7. We'll talk to you next Friday night at 7 o'clock once again on 1010 KSIR and KSIR.com.